Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers, Cybertron Battlers, Optimus Prime. But before we get on to the figure itself, we're going to talk about Optimus Prime. As many of you know from Transformers, he is the leader of the noble Autobots and leads them into battle against the wicked Decepticons. So it's always good to give a bio on a character. This one, Optimus Prime, does not transform, but you see why he's missing a hand? He's got his Energon Axe in hand, ready to go chop through some Decepticons. But now, on to the review itself. We're going to look at the figure itself. Nice artwork and paint sculpt on this Optimus Prime. It looks really good. The eyes are painted just like his G1 counterpart. The body looks pretty cool. The wheels are missing some paint detail. But the head and the chest and the arms and the smokestacks are really well detailed. Even that Energon axe is detailed. You're wondering, where did we get this from? I got this from five, five dollars from Dollar General. And that's how much I paid for these Cybertron Battlers. Transformers more than meets the eye. And yeah, these are going at Dollar General for like five bucks. And I got all three of them. But here's Megatron next to that one. I took the tag off him in the back. So you see, he looks pretty good. But now we're going to take off the tag here and look at the tag artwork. Got a nice product shot of Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Five bucks. Not bad. Transformers Authentics. I didn't know it was made by Authentics. But you're always learning something new, huh? And yeah, warning information and all that. And that's all there is to say for that. Let's look at Optimus Prime himself. The details are pretty well done. The paint is really well done. There is some paint lacking in certain areas. I might have to go and paint this a bit more before I put it on the shelf. But otherwise, everything else looks just amazing. The front side looks amazing. The back side needs some paint. But other than that, looks pretty cool. Articulation. He kicks forward that far. Kicks back that far. Same with the other leg. Full rotation on that arm. Yep, head is on a ball joint, but it's really tight, and I had to loosen it up a little bit. But now for comparison, before we end this video. Here's the Cybertron Battlers Authentics Optimus Prime. Next to... Megatron. And yeah, we have good versus evil. Here on my shelf. Here on the table for comparison. Optimus Prime and Megatron. Ready to do battle like they did in the 1980s. I will admit that some of these figures don't have a lot of paint on them. I could repaint these. Before I do my next video, I might go and paint these up before I do the last one I got on the list, which is Bumblebee. But for now, these figures are really good, really fun to mess around with, and I'm so glad to own these. If you want to know where you can pick these up, you can probably pick them up at a Dollar General for like five bucks. They're worth the money. Other than that, they're a really fun line to mess around with, and the articulation's pretty good, except for no elbows or knees or ankle tilt, but otherwise, they're a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And thank you for all of your support and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land. Sorry, I just did the garbage, so...
Got something on my hands there. Now moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.